I'm Sean Scarangello. Today is Valentine's Day. Look, it's a part and it's broken. Now, this is the whole grand sports show. <laughs> First story today is something that barely qualifies as sports related, but you'll forgive me. This is Kate Upton. This is Kate Upton on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Yowza! The best part about Kate Upton? She's trained to ride horses. I think that's a handy skill to have. Don't you guys? Link of the online swimsuit stuff down below. You'll not be disappointed. You're welcome. On to more me-related news, Long Beach State, mild matter, may make it into the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament this year. Yes! Making me so proud. While they are leading the Big West Conference with a 12-0 record to date, and 19-6 overall, the Big West Conference has an RPI in the 40s and may drop even lower. This means that should something catastrophic happen, like they lose the Big West Tournament, they will presumably lose both the automatic conference bid and the at-large bid. Ouch. I was so impressed when they beat Pitt earlier this season and got on ESPN News for it. Moral of the story? Just, uh, make me proud. Here's my National Hockey League roundup. The trade deadline is on February 27th, and the bottom-feeding Columbus Blue Jackets may well trade Rick Nash. Rick Nash says that he'd be okay staying in Columbus, even though they suck, have sucked, and probably will continue to suck. Sorry, Blue Jackets fans. Let's face it. Rick Nash deserves to go to a contender so he doesn't have to retire having never tasted something close to Stanley Cup glory. Like even a conference championship. I'm not even talking about winning, I'm saying making it to a conference championship. Your management sucks in Columbus, I'm sorry. Other NHL news, the Detroit Red Wings have won 21 straight at home, an NHL record. That has to put some fear into any team that enters Joe Louis Arena that are not named the Detroit Red Wings. In soccer news, star U.S. player Lyndon Donovan says he'd like to permanently move to Everton of the English Premier League. He's still under contract to Los Angeles Galaxy for two more seasons, and as you get older, European clubs like you less. Today, Lyndon Donovan is 29, he'll be 31 when he's free. For the sake of U.S. soccer, I hope Donovan gets to make this move permanent. And for my last story today, Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban is irritating me. He's irritating me. He bitched and moaned about the Lakers getting Chris Paul. That deal was then vetoed. Now he's complaining that the Chris Paul to the Clippers deal was shit as well. Which way do you want it? Clippers, Lakers. Can't have it both, Cuban. I agree that the New Orleans Hornets are a mess, and David Stern, an idiot with a conflict of interest. Just for you, Stern, here's a double chin. David Stern. But Mr. Cuban, had you kept your mouth shut the first time, perhaps the original Lakers, Rockets, Hornets deal would have gone through. And all three teams would be better off today, instead of all three having issues. One, two, three. I usually enjoy your brash nature, Mr. Cuban, but regarding star players being traded, shut up! Please comment down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, because it really helps. And subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash wholegrainsports. You can also click the annotation right here, and above that, there's a button that says subscribe. Any of those three will work, or if you're German, these three. I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.